So um, this can be, um, you know, pretty much all, all self-oriented um, interests um, and um, just how you are, how you are coming across uh, as you make your way through your through your daily life. So now with solar eclipse revolution appearing in there, um, this says exactly what it is. Um, you're undergoing um, some kind of um, change, uh, and this is uh, probably swift. Um, it's 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 going to happen quite suddenly. So you may just suddenly feel a change of direction is required, or you may have an upheaval and then have to make a change of direction. Um, but through all of that, through all the change and perhaps feeling a bit uncomfortable, um, you know, in having to make changes, then um, you need to just focus on the present. Stay, stay, keep your attention on what is directly in front of you. Um, you may have a decision which needs to be made, or you may need to create or fix something in order to uh, bring about something better. On the other side of this um, sort of change or rearrangement, um, is uh, is is something better. It's it's necessary for you to move forward. So whatever changes are occurring, um, it, it could just be an internal um, sudden realization that you're having something suddenly comes to you. You suddenly realize what it is you have to do, or what action you need to take. Um, and you know there's going to be a rearrangement of your world, so to speak, and how you move forward in your world. So it's a transformational card. It's a transformational in influence. Um, you're entering a new phase of life, um, a new start. Um, it's also about breaking old patterns. So whatever, however it affects you, whether it's your physical body or whether you, it's your attitudes and your, um, you know, how you are perceiving the world and moving forward, there's change there. But it's necessary change because there will be something much better for you on the other side of that. That initial period of, of trying to work things out after the upheaval, um, from that will come something much better. Um, this will also, because it's your first house and how you are making your way in the world and how you are projecting yourself, it will come in later on in your seventh house as well. And also in, in any kind of interaction that you're having with others, because it affects yourself, how you are perceived by others as well. So we'll get to that later. Um, in your um, second house, you have Gemini, I think. So um, the second house has everything to do with your money and your income. It's also your values uh, and your self-worth. Uh, and um, your um, possessions, your uh, property, uh, land, so on. And um, it's all about what you own as well. So now uh, with this with this coming in, your words are going to be really important. Uh, Gemini rules communication. So this is communication of all kinds, but your words really are going to be important, whether it's written or um, what you're saying. Um, so uh, you need to be sort of quick-witted, um, quick thinking. Um, you may have to change your mind about something or you may be changing your mind about something or you may, may have to explain yourself in some way. Um, but it's, it's all about paying attention to what needs to be said. Um, and also uh, learning comes into this, uh, versatility, new ideas. So um, it could also be, uh, you know, perhaps you're changing your monetary situation. Perhaps you have to um, ask for certain things. Perhaps you have to uh, change the way you are um, billing for the time that you do. But but not in all cases, it's all about communication, how you put yourself across and how you actually um, speak up about what it is that you require. So it's also be careful that you don't give too much information away. Um, if you're changing something about your finances or your, um, your ownership of things or your possessions, don't give too much information away. Um, you know, be, um, be sort of quick witted and pay attention. Um, but, um, just be aware that, uh, you know, others may be, um, you may be the subject of gossip or other people may be talking, um, or just you're somehow talking too much about what it is going on in your life. So just keep it close, uh, pay attention, but also choose your words with care. Um, you may be having quite a bit of nervous energy about things as well. Perhaps you are a little bit nervous about certain things you want to change or something that you want to, uh, you know, some sort of ownership. It's As I said, it's also about self-worth and your values. So you may just be feeling that um, something, you know, sort of an attitude or a, or, a, or a perception that you've had about certain things will now require um, a change or you need to address certain issues. Um, you may also be feeling a bit restless about um, certain things. Perhaps you're feeling restless about 
you know, what your, what the money that you're earning for the time that you're putting in and you need to change that or possibly you need to bring in technology to make you more efficient um, or to manage your money better. There's lots of ways that this can come in, um, but um, it, it, it's words, it's change and uh, technology and, um, and uh, bringing about um, you know, bringing to you what you require uh, using your wits and your mental faculties. Then in the third house, we have Chiron, uh, which is healing. Now, the third ha house is actually about your uh, communication. So, um, yes, you have co communication coming in strongly for you in your, in your money house and your values and self-worth possessions and so on. But when it actually comes to um, this can be communications of all kinds. So whether it's written, verbal, contracts, documents, uh, it can even be social media. It can be dealing with the public in a wider um, sort of space. So it's not just this is not one on one. This is this is dealing with others. So it's your interaction with others. Um, and um, with Chiron, there's transformation required there. So um, this uh, is is basically. Um, Contemplation, so uh, transforming uh, the way you communicate, but there's contemplation involved there. There's deep listening to yourself and to others, but your communication needs to be measured. So um, you w may feel the, that you want to rush in and change things, but just be aware that um, you may be um, sort of having to deal with quite a bit at the moment. Um, and especially when it comes to contracts and documents, there's maybe, um, there may be quite a lot of um, difficult circumstances or you, you may just have to sort of, um, bear, bear with yourself through some, uh, through some difficult times. Um, and you're going to need to choose your words. Um, this is also about self honesty. Um, and, um, you may be just be going through a difficult patch, um, slightly painful period. Um, which which gives rise to this contemplation and deep listening of yourself. Um, be honest, you know. Be honest with yourself. Um, you will need to be bold. You will need to take action, but it's it's measured communication and measured action. Um, you ne really need to tap into your deep inner resources here, because on the other side of the difficulty or the pain uh, or whatever it is that you need to communicate, um, there is wisdom on the other side of that. Um, it's just, it's just to get through this, uh, sticky patch, uh, and, and then on the other side of that, you will, you will feel better and, uh, things will, will, will feel better for you, uh, internally and with the people that you're dealing with. Um, you may need to also, um, it could involve, uh, doing a bit of research or following up, um, on, um, various types of medicine, natural therapies. Uh, and so on. So you may be doing a bit of research in that, if that is, is to do with your work, or it could be to do with others um, in your family circle. So this is um, siblings, cousins, aunts, uncles, something may come up uh, and it will affect you. Maybe they are going through a very difficult patch, um, some kind of deep healing going on. So wisdom comes from the pain. So that you may be seeing it in others and you are uh, required to bring in um bring in all of those uh, aspects that I've, I've just discussed. So it's it's really seeing transformation in communication and what's going on around you, but also the way you are communicating um, through it, you know, through some sort of sticky patch of some sort. Um, and this house, the third house can also be about short trips. So it may be worth your while to just do a bit of um, go to, um, go to uh, places where you can, uh, just take a break and uh, enjoy a bit of self healing. Um, there's, uh, yeah, there's, th th with short trips, it, it might be, it might just be worth your while to, um, enjoy a healing break somewhere where you can have some quiet time just to contemplate what it is that you, um, what is going on around you, what you need to say and how you need to say it. And just a, a bit of, um, a bit of navel gazing, if you want to call it that. Um, and also just to have a break um, and, and, and listen to yourself and your own needs and what it is, how you want to express yourself. Then in the uh, fourth house, um, there is um, Uranus uh, coming in. Uh, Uranus is um, the god of change. Um, it's also, it has a sort of a genius faculty to it as well. 
Um, it's electricity. It's a very, it's like a bolt of lightning. It's a, it's a, it's a very uh, transformative uh, influence to be having. So now, uh, this is falling in your fourth house, which is everything to do with your home and your home life. So um, there's quite a bit of uh, uh, ways this can manifest, but ultimately it brings in um, sudden unexpected change or a surprise or even a change of lifestyle. Um, but it's necessary, whatever it is, it is necessary um, for your own personal growth. Um, it, may ring, it may bring in relocation of some sort. Um, or it could be even a change within your home. Uh, perhaps the people that are in your home, something's changing there, or a change uh, within your space uh, where you're actually living. Um, uh, but it, whatever it is, it will be a liberating change. Um, the, when Uranus comes in, it's not normally something small. It's usually usually fairly um, fairly major, um, and uh, it could just be a complete and utter reorganization of your space. So that it frees your time up or frees your, you, you know, your, your energies up. Uh, but it really is a, a, a transformative change. So literally from one day to the next. Um, and, um, it may also be that you are, you're aware of things that need to happen. Um, and you're just taking no action to do anything about it or you feel that you, you, you just, you know, can't, um, can't get to it for some reason. Well, Uranus will come in and change it for you. Uh, and it's always better to preempt if you feel you really need to make a change. Rather go with your inner feelings, preempt the change because when, 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 you know, sudden changes are upon you like that, it can be really quite an upheaval. Um, so, um, so work with what is, what you feel, what you need to do. Um, but it, 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 also could be that you have a new perspective on your home life. You have uh, some kind of uh, realization about what it is that you need to do. Or once you've made, you've been forced to make a, a, a necessary change, you will feel, you will feel better after that um, sort of period has passed. You will feel better about where you are or, or what's going on around you. It's a new perspective. Um, and um, also, if you're changing um, situations within your home, it could also be um, technology. Coming in, you may have new gadgets, you may have to um, deal with wiring or electronics or some kind of, um, you know, it, this is advanced tech, but it, I mean, if you don't, if you're not really exposed to tech, so even a new smartphone can be, can be advanced for you. So this is, but it's, it's essentially the home life. Um, the other aspect um, that may come in for you um, in the fourth house is also um, your um, your ethnic identity, your foundation, your early life, um, what you came from. So this could also be un undergoing some kind of rearrangement of some sort, um, or just your perception of that. Something may come to light. Suddenly, you get a you realize something, or a, an idea comes to you, um, and it could affect you in that way as well. Then, in the uh, fifth house, um, we have Mercury mind. So um, this is um, the fifth house is everything to do with your children or children that you may be working with or exposed to, not necessarily your own, but children come in there. It's also um, your creative um, side, whether you're with, whether you are working in a creative field or you just have enjoyable hobbies um, or something that you like to do. Um, art, it doesn't necessarily mean art. Um, creativity is a different thing. You can be a creative thinker or you can be a creative speaker or you can just be creative in arranging um, outings for your children. So creativity comes in where you really um, apply your mind um, to everything that's going on um, and um, pull a whole lot of aspects together to to make an, an, an enjoyable and productive um, outcome. So it's it rules children, it rules um, your creativity, your creative side, and it also rules love affairs. It also rules recreation of all kinds. So having fun, um, sports, different types of recreational activities, and that can be anything. That can be sewing, that can be um, some sort of... Um, Activity which you particularly enjoy. It could be anything, really. So, um, the, what what this um, aspect is bringing in for you is to apply your mind to whatever it is that you're doing, um, and um, take the, an intelligent approach. Um, you know, think about your words. It's a very mental aspect. You may have to mediate in some way. 